Safe nga ba magmix tayo ng different types of refrigerant sa ating AC system? So let's say na you have an AC and upon troubleshooting natin, need natin mag-fill or mag-charge ng refrigerant. Safe nga ba na basta na lang tayo mag-charge ng kahit anong refrigerant sa ating system? So wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. To make the long story short, the answer is definitely no. At dito, pag-uusapan natin ang dahilan kung bakit nga ba hindi pwede mag-mix ng iba't ibang refrigerant sa ating AC system. First, paano nga ba natin malalaman kung anong refrigerant ang kailangan ng AC natin? R22 ba? R134A? Or R410A? Ito yung mga ginamit ko na example of refrigerant kasi ito yung common sa mga household AC natin. Pero bukod pa dyan, madami pa ding tayong iba't ibang klase ng refrigerant. So paano nga ba natin malalaman kung alin yung gagamitin natin? Pag bumili tayo ng aircon or kung may existing aircon na tayo, meron lagi itong nameplate or labeled sticker na kung saan nakalagay kung anong refrigerant ang para sa kanya. So kung makikita natin sa kada nameplate niya or sticker, included kung what type of refrigerant yung gagamitin natin. Pag sa window type, normally nasa gilid siya ng unit makikita. Pag sa split type naman, Normally, nasa outdoor unit to nakalagay. So, kung gusto nyo malaman, hanapin nyo lang yung label at doon makikita nyo kung anong refrigerant yung dapat natin gamitin para sa aircon natin. First reason kung bakit bawal magmix ng refrigerant kasi may kanya-kanya tong characteristics. At dito, isa-isahin natin ang mga yon. R22 R134A and R410A. For uses, all of these refrigerants ay applicable for refrigeration and air conditioning natin. And also, lahat din sila ay non-flammable. So, save sila in this case. For components naman, R22 refrigerant is AHCFC refrigerant or yung tinatawag natin na hydrochlorofluorocarbon type na refrigerant. Meaning, meron tong chlorine content na kung saan harmful siya sa ating environment na nagkukos ng ozone depletion. While R134A is a HFC refrigerant. Meaning, hydrochlorocarbon type of refrigerant siya. Safe to sa ating environment at wala siyang chlorine content. Same lang siya ni R410A na hydrofluorocarbon type of refrigerant. So isang dahilan kung bakit bawal tayo magmix na refrigerant dahil sa components niya. Kasi when you mix HCFC with HFC, you create an imbalance of the final substance that can result to even more dangerous effect to our planet. Also, once HCFC and HFC are mixed into your system, it is impossible to separate the individual components. So, ito yung dahilan kung bakit bawal natin sila i-mix for environmental concerns. The other one is suction pressure. For R22, we have suction pressure of 60 to 70 PSI, while sa R134A, between 30 to 40 PSI siya. And for 410A, 110 to 120 PSI. Also, discharge pressure is different. Sa R22, 250 to 290 PSI. R134A is 140 to 180 PSI naman. While sa R410A naman, 400 to 500 PSI. 
So, ito yung isang concern kung bakit bawal tayo magmix ng refrigerant. Kasi, magkakaiba sila ng working pressure. Imagine, yung EC sistema ay para sa R22 lang. Then, nag-charge ka sa kanya ng R410A na refrigerant. Na magkaiba yung suction pressure niya. So, malilito ka ngayon kung alin yung pressure na susundin mo sa dalawa sa pag-charge natin. Isa pa, yung design ng EC natin ay binibase lang din sa types of refrigerant na gagamitin sa kanya. If you will notice, this R410A has the highest working pressure. So, ang design also ng system niya is for high pressure application. Unlike dito sa R134A natin, na mababa yung working pressure, so pang low pressure application lang siya. Example, nag-charge tayo ng R410A sa AC system na dapat ay R134A. Na alam naman natin na ang R410A is for high pressure. So, ang tendency ng AC components ng R134A, yung high pressure, na pwede mag-result to damage ng components or worst explosion ng parts. That's why we cannot simply replace the respective refrigerant because system parts are not compatible. Other effects of mixing refrigerants into our system are ineffective cooling of compressor, reduced cooling, possible compressor damage, metering device malfunction, and possible damage of our piping system. So, ito yung mga consider natin, kaya hindi natin dapat pwede ipag-mix yung iba't ibang types ng refrigerants. And worst, at nangyayari din to sa field, nagkakaroon tayo ng compressor explosion na nagkakos ng major injuries. Kasi nga, hindi compatible yung parts and iba yung design ng system with regards sa application ng kada refrigerants. Kaya, lagi natin tandaan, safety first and always dapat tayo. Don't mix different types of refrigerants. Other characteristics is the boiling point. For R22, meron siyang boiling point na negative 40.8 degrees Celsius. While sa R134A naman, negative 26.3 degrees Celsius. And for R410A, negative 48.5 degrees Celsius yung boiling point ng refrigerant niya. Ano na ba yung kanalaman ng boiling point sa system natin? Boiling point allows the refrigerant to boil off into vapor at a lower temperature. And nangyayari ito sa ating evaporator side. So, as the refrigerant leaves the evaporator, the refrigerant has to be in 100% vapor form to avoid ingress of liquid refrigerant inside compressor as the liquid is incompressible. Lastly, refrigerant is related also in terms of compatibility with lubricating oil of our compressor. Refrigerant must be compatible meaning it can be easily separated with a compressor oil. Kasi pag hindi compatible yung refrigerant sa lubricating oil ng ating compressor, maaari itong mag ng acid or sludge formation, acidic corrosion, insufficient lubrication sa ating compressor, and worse, compressor damage. So, ito yung mga factors na consider natin kung bakit bawal tayo magmix ng different types of refrigerants sa ating AC system. So for conclusion, let's remember na safety first and always. Don't mix different types of refrigerant in our AC system. So we can have a better cooling efficiency of the unit. Also, we can prolong the unit lifespan and the most important is we can avoid accidents and injuries of our workers. And that's how our topic ends. And again, please don't forget to subscribe on this channel 
para maging updated pa tayo sa mga susunod na helpful videos.